but they will be here for eight years wait yusuf will be here for another eight years hello guys so welcome to our youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video if you are coming across our channel for the very first time please do well to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when we post another video the video about to watch right now is another mind blowing prophecy it's another powerful prophecy from a very powerful man of god so i want you to pay serious attention to everything the man of god is going to say the video about to watch right now is a powerful prophecy from pastor festus he have come out to say that peter obi is going to rule nigeria for eight years but before we dive into the video i would love to play with us to please share the video on all social media platform especially on whatsapp let the video get as many people as possible also i want to please with us to like this video and drop a comment so youtube can continue to suggest and recommend this video to more people god bless you as you do so like i said the video about to watch right now is a mind-blowing prophecy from pastor festus we all know that a lot have been happening in nigeria for a very long time even before the nigeria presidential election started a whole lot of pastors prophet bishop apostles have come out to speak about what god has shown them concerning in Nigeria and what is going to be happening in Nigeria before and after the election. If you have been following me on this channel, one thing I've always asked us to do is that we should pray for Nigeria. That is because prayer is what Nigeria needs right now. Nigeria needs prayer. A whole lot of things is happening in Nigeria. A whole lot of things are falling apart in Nigeria. So it is important for us to remember Nigeria in prayer. Let us do well to continue praying for Nigeria. I've seen a couple of comments of people insulting me in the comment section saying that why should I ask us to pray for Nigeria? That Nigeria is already a useless country. That Nigeria is already a destroyed country. That there is no country called Nigeria. But I I don't believe in order that is their own personal opinion nigeria is my country i'm not going to run away from nigeria in as much as nigeria is not going in the direction it's supposed to go to right now i believe that things can still get better i still have faith in nigeria meanwhile nigeria is the only country i have nigeria is the only country you have some people may have dual citizenship but see nigeria is our country is our home we cannot run away from nigeria the only thing we can do is to pray for the betterment of nigeria and that is what i encourage us to do let us continue to pray for the betterment of our country nigeria all of us calling for war calling that nigeria should scatter nigeria should divide listen when it all starts it is going to affect you and i more you and i that don't have the necessary connection that can take us out of nigeria as soon as possible it is going to affect the poor people people that don't even make decisions for the country people that don't even know what is happening in the country people that cannot even feed themselves people that cannot help themselves it is going to affect those people more so before you call for war you say let's go to war think about yourself first also think about your family think about your loved ones if it starts now can you stand if it starts now can you take care of yourself can you fly your family outside the country can you fight all these things are the things we need to consider before we start advocating for war before we start calling for war war is not an option war is not what we need and those of you calling for nigeria to be divided listen nigeria is better together i've always said this nigeria is better together that we should not even be thinking about division for now so for now let us just focus on trying to make nigeria a better country because nigeria is the only country we have from the prophecy by pastor festus he said that if p2b and yusuf are going to listen to what he's going to be telling them that they are going to rule nigeria for 16 years he said that peter b is going to rule for eight years and yusuf will rule for another eight years and that we are going to witness 16 years of progress in nigeria listen to what he has to say i will show them again what the lord has said what will be and yusuf should do if they do it Obi will be here for eight years If they do it, Yusuf will be here for another eight years. So we have 16 years of real turnaround. Real turnaround. Real turnaround that this nation will be number one out of the ten nations of the world. Pastor Festus also said that if Peter B and Yusuf refuse to listen to the things he's going to tell them and do the things they are supposed to do, then Nigeria is going to divide. If they do not follow up, something will happen and there will be a dividing of this nation. But not on tribal lines, it will be on religious lines. If they don't follow up, I shall show them the package of what the Lord I don't even want to be seen by camera. I don't want anybody to see my face. 
but I will give them a breakdown of all the things Lord has shown me since 1990 and all these things can be confirmed they can be verified for any, by, by any person who cares and I will warn them I don't want to see you I don't want one, one naira from government I don't need it my supply comes from above it's money that I it's not money that I need what I need is his presence his presence when the need for money comes he will do what he will give me the money when the need for food comes he will give me the food when the need for a good pair of shoes comes he will give me the pair of shoes so why should I be struggling and killing myself for something that will not bring satisfaction when I know that I have a treasure Pastor okay. Festus also said that there is going to be so much trouble in Nigeria if P2B and Yusuf fail to listen and that if Nigeria divides that the North, which is the Muslims, are going to be more united than the Christians. Listen to what he said. But if they would not listen, there will be so much trouble that this nation will be divided into two parts, North and South. Not on tribal grounds, but on religious grounds. And you will have the Muslim North, you have the, the Christian South. But the Lord warns me that the Muslims will be more united, even though they are going to be forced into it, because their leaders are going to be dictators, and they will be used, but they will be more united. But the Southern Christians will not be united. They will fight themselves, and they will bring in their tribalism again. And there'll be trouble. Pastor Festus also said that God does not want Nigeria to divide, that it is not God's will for Nigeria to divide, and that is why He wants P2B and Yusuf to rule Nigeria. And so, the reason the Lord is giving us this big opportunity is because He does not want this division to take place. But a lot is in the hands of the people of God, both in the north and south and east and east. The Lord lies in our hands. Pastor Festus also said that Nigeria is going to prosper and be great again, and that all the people that left Nigeria, all the people that ran away from Nigeria, all the people that relocated from Nigeria are going to return back to Nigeria because of the good things that will be happening in Nigeria. People should have good will towards God and towards the will of God, and everybody will prosper. I am trusting the Lord that in the next eight years will be powerful years. Changes will come. Opportunities will come. And all the Nigerians who have run away to abroad, they will run back. And when they come back, I will tell them, oh, you cannot take my space. Don't take my space. Look for your space. Hallelujah. God is the God of Nigeria. I believe you have heard everything that Pastor Festus have said concerning Nigeria. Please let me know what you think about all this in the comment section. Drop your comment, share your opinion, but I urge you to share your opinion respectfully. I've been seeing a lot of comments from people insulting me and insulting some people in the comment section. I believe that we are all bigger than that. Let us just try to comment respectfully. You have listened to what the man of God have said. The only thing I'm going to tell us is that we should continue to pray for Nigeria. Some of the things he said are not good things. They are not things that we should be rejoicing about. In as much as some of us will be happy that he said that Peter Obi is going to rule Nigeria for eight years. But don't forget that he said that there is going to be so much trouble if Peter Obi and Yusuf fail to listen and do the things they are supposed to do. That is why it is important for us to pray. Let us continue to pray for Nigeria. Pray for Peter Obi that whatever it is they are supposed to do, that they should do them. And whatever it is is supposed to happen to Nigeria or in Nigeria, for Nigeria to become better, for Nigeria to become great again, that God should make it happen. We need change in Nigeria. We need things to change in Nigeria. We need to turn around in Nigeria. Nigeria has been going backward for a very long time. So let us pray for things to work in Nigeria again. Nigeria is a very great nation. We have great people in Nigeria. We have talented people in Nigeria. We have a lot of skilled people in Nigeria. So sometimes I sit and wonder why things are happening like this in our country Nigeria when we have the potential and the resources to make Nigeria one of the 
best country and best nations in the world. A lot is happening. So let us continue to pray for Nigeria. Like he said, it is not God's will for Nigeria to divide. So let us continue to pray for peace and unity. Those of us calling for division, I understand your point of view. I understand where you are coming from. I understand your feelings and the things you are talking about. It is true that due to bad government, some people have been marginalized. Some people have been treated badly. But I tell you, if we have a man who understands the vision of God for Nigeria, who understands what God is trying to do for our country, Nigeria, Nigeria is going to be great again. And you will enjoy Nigeria again. Nigeria is a very powerful nation. And I'm telling you, one thing that makes Nigeria very powerful is our numbers. It's because we are big. It's because we are huge. There is so much potential in Nigeria. We can achieve a lot if we stick together. We just need a president, a leader, somebody that can put everything together, that can help unite us, that will not look at this person is from Hausa, this person is from Yoruba, this person is Igbo. Somebody that can look beyond tribe and try to make Nigeria work. Give every tribe what they are supposed to receive. Give them what belongs to them and what they are supposed to get. Don't look at, I am from this, I am from that, or I belong to this party. We need such a leader. We need a leader that can help bring out the best in everybody, the best in all tribe, the best in all people, the best in the youth, the best in everybody in Nigeria. I believe that God can give us such a leader. If P2B is that leader, whatever needs to happen for him to become the president of Nigeria, let us pray that it, it happens. Let us stop calling for division. Let us stop calling for war. This is the time for us to go on our knees and pray for our beloved nation, Nigeria. Nigeria needs change. And change can only start if we enforce it. And we can only enforce change properly when we do it from the spiritual. Whatever you do in the physical, if the spiritual have not confirmed it, you are not going anywhere. Because this life, as long as I know, is controlled by the spiritual. Everything happening in the physical is controlled from the spiritual. If we want to get things right, we have to get it right first in the spiritual realm and it will manifest physically. So let us continue to pray. We cannot fight these people physically. The only thing we can do is to pray. It is only God that can intervene and fix Nigeria for us. Only God can do it. So when I ask us to pray, it is not because I'm enjoying the things happening. It is because I trust God. I trust that God can make things happen. If we can all just trust God and let him do his thing, you will see how things is just going to change overnight. But if you say, let us go and fight, they have the military by their side, they have the police, they have everything, they have the resources, they, they have all the power, they have everything. So how are you going to fight these people? The only thing we can do is to pray for God's intervention and the things that are supposed to happen will happen. Everything is going to fall in place someday. I believe that. I believe in Nigeria. I believe in the potential and in the greatness of Nigeria. Someday Nigeria is going to be great again. Maybe some of us may not enjoy it. Maybe some of us are really advanced in age. But if you can't do it for anybody, do it for your children. Pray for Nigeria to get better so your children can enjoy a better Nigeria. The Nigeria you couldn't enjoy, let your children enjoy. It. Let us not pray for war. War can cause so much damage. War can destroy so many things beyond our imagination. Some of us are just seeing it. Oh, it is just what we are going to fight. War sometimes can last for three years, four years, five years, non-stop. Look at the Russia and Ukraine war. You know, they are still fighting. And I'm not sure that the people in Ukraine and Russia, they are enjoying all the things happening over there. War is not an easy thing. Don't pray for war. Let us just pray for peace and unity in Nigeria and pray that things should work well in Nigeria again. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you always give us on this channel. Thank you so much. May God continue to supply and provide for you as you keep supporting us. I will see you in the next video. You are blessed.